Liver King has finally been exposed and now it's true that he's been using performance enhancing drugs. And so in this video, what I'm gonna do is look at how Liver King can make his performance enhancing drug protocol a little bit safer. And specifically what I'll do is outline ways in which men can protect their organs if they decide to go down some of the heavy duty performance enhancing drugs to build a better physique and overall body. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. And if you've been enjoying these videos, please hit subscribe down below to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. Here's a list of the performance enhancing drugs that Liver King allegedly was taking. First on the list, we have IGF-1-LR. Second, we have CJC. Third, we have Ibutamorin. Fourth, we have Omnitrope. Fifth, we have Testosterone Cypionate. Sixth, we have DECA. And then seventh, we have Winstrol. There is a possibility that Liver King was using some other PEDs in and amongst this particular stack. However, what I'm gonna do in this video is outline how we can specifically protect various organs and metabolic pathways in the whole body if we ever decide to use performance enhancing drugs. Now, I want to make it very clear that this particular stack here is potentially very dangerous for the average human. And we'll look at how this particular protocol can actually damage various organs and tissues and actually lead to an increased risk of various diseases and metabolic dysfunctions. How can we make his PED stack safer? Now, the most obvious way to achieve this is to dramatically lower the dosages of all the compounds present in this particular stack. However, this is still not sufficient to deem this particular protocol safe for human consumption or human use. Now, if I was to ever run a cycle as hardcore as what the Liver King was using, which to be absolutely honest with you guys, this is extremely unlikely that I'll ever decide to use any of the compounds mentioned in his particular stack at the same dosages. Now, this is what I would add into his specific protocol to protect various organs. Now, again, this is still not safe for human usage, but it's better than nothing. So what I wanna do is basically build out a complementary stack or a range of protocols to actually protect various organs and basically highlight to a range of athletes and bodybuilding and enthusiasts, those that love to abuse um, performance enhancing drugs, that there are many organs and pathways that you need to also complement and support if you decide to use these heavy duty performance enhancing drugs. Hey guys, if you're watching this video right now and want to unlock your full mental and physical potential, then the Limitless course is for you. Unlock my best biohacks for energy, motivation, and testosterone optimization so that you can conquer your goals with ease and crush every day with confidence. Click the link in the description and get it now for only $27 today. All right, now let's get straight back into the video. This would be my go-to liver protection stack. Number one, the first ingredient you guys have heard me talk about, Tutka. Tutka is a bile acid. We're looking at 1000 milligrams split into two doses with lunch and dinner. Second, we have artichoke extract, which has been used in traditional Chinese medicine and a range of different uh, modalities and therapies to improve liver. It has a very potent hepatoprotective effect. And it's also considered a hepatotropho restorative, which means that it can actually regenerate liver cells. So we're looking at about 500 milligrams with dinner. Third, we have the new NAC, which is NACET, N-acetylcysteine ethyl ester. This is the more advanced, more potent version of NAC, which um, you can use NAC to improve liver health. However, this new form of NACET, NACET, is more effective than NAC by itself or head-to-head -head in terms of a milligram to milligram dosage um, comparison. So we're looking at about 200 milligrams of the NACET with lunch. Bear in mind that even though this is specifically targeted to improve the liver 
and specifically improve liver health. These compounds will also have some other broad spectrum effects within the body. So just because this is, you know, for example, Tutka, we know also has kidney protective effects and also improves uh, gut health and reduces leaky gut. And even with artichoke extract, we know has also some neuroprotective qualities. So bear in mind that just these three compounds alone would actually have some other broad spectrum effects outside just improving liver health. Looking at the cholesterol support, many PEDs and some other compounds can actually play at, or have a negative effect on um, cholesterol markers. So this would be a very powerful cholesterol balancing, or I guess a stack that would have a positive effect on cholesterol levels. We're looking at a thousand milligrams of vitamin B3 with breakfast and a thousand milligrams of that same dose of vitamin B3 with uh, dinner. Next, we have trimethylglycine at 2000 milligrams with breakfast and 2000 milligrams with dinner. And then third, we have bergamot extract, 500 milligrams in the morning with breakfast and 500 milligrams uh, with dinner. So just these three compounds alone will have a very favorable effect on triglycerides and HDL cholesterol, LDL cholesterol. Many of these have some really robust research to actually support cholesterol status and having a positive effect on overall cholesterol levels in the human body. This would be a you know, cholesterol modulatory uh, protocol. Third, we have circulation and endothelial health. So this is a specific protocol and stack to improve circulation and endothelial health. I'm looking at Eclonia cava extract, which is a very powerful uh, brown seaweed that has some restorative effects on overall circulation. There's been mentioned that Eclonia cava actually outperforms Viagra in terms of erectile performance. And that is due to its positive effect on restoring endothelial nitric oxide synthase or ENOS. We're looking at about one capsule 90 minutes before bed of the Eclonia cava. It also has some restorative effects on sleep quality. Second in this circulation and endothelial health stack is horse chestnut extract. We're looking at about one capsule with dinner. And then third, we have intravenous vitamin C or sodium ascorbate at 15,000 milligrams. Intravenous vitamin C can help to increase tetrahydrobiopterin, which is BH4. And this is a cofactor that is necessary to actually create and synthesize nitric oxide. A very high dose of vitamin C can not only have beneficial effects on endothelial health, but then also having some other positive effects on improving liver health, even increasing glutathione levels and having a very protective effect against some of these performance enhancing drugs. So you're probably wondering now about personalized stacks. Well, if you do want a personalized stack specific to your biology, do consider joining my new men's energy program, Limitless, where we go through building out supplement stacks and protocols to optimize your health and performance. In addition, we go through all the very best biohacks that you simply won't find on Google. So do check the link in the video description to apply for the men's energy program, Limitless, where you'll get a chance to actually work closely with me. So do check out the link to join the Limitless men's energy program. Looking at prostate health. Now, prostate health is incredibly important, particularly for men that are actually on testosterone and some of the other compounds within the Liver King's stack or PED protocol will without a doubt have a negative effect on prostate health. First in this stack is nettle root extract, 500 milligrams after dinner. Nettle root has some very potent anti-inflammatory effects on the prostate gland itself. It also has a mild DHT blocking effect and also inhibits aromatase at the testicular and prostate level. Next, we have Eclonia cava, the same compound that I mentioned previously for endothelial and uh, circulation. Eclonia cava has some beneficial effects on prostate health as well. And then we're looking at organic cold pressed pumpkin seed oil. Although this is high in poofers or polyunsaturated fatty acids, fatty acids that are present in pumpkin seed oil actually have a very potent anti-inflammatory effect on the prostate gland itself. So it can actually have a beneficial effect on prostate function. So we're looking at about five meals per day. From the brain and neuro or neuro restorative, neuroactive effects, we're looking at a series of three compounds. Now, Bear in mind that the Liver King was using DECA, 
which is notorious for increasing prolactin. In this particular stack, uh, I've included a compound that can potentially offset the prolactin raising effects of DECA. So first of all, in this particular stack, we have cerebrolysin intramuscularly, so up to five mils, intravenously, which can be up to 10 mil or intravenously by slow infusion, 10 to 50 mil. Now it's important to inject slowly over three minutes and cerebrolysin is one of the most potent neurogenic and neurorestorative compounds in the world. And cerebrolysin is incredibly beneficial for restoring healthy brain function and improving memory performance and offsetting a lot of the neurotoxic effects that may arise from PED usage. By the way, many of these compounds will be linked down below in the video description if you want to um, purchase them. Second, we have Cognance, which is a high ebilin lactone yield Bacopa extract. Now, Bacopa monieri is perhaps one of the most well-researched nootropics on the market in terms of improving memory performance. Now, Bacopa does need to be used long-term in order to elicit these favorable effects on memory performance. However, this high ebilin lactone yield Bacopa extract, Cognance, may actually elicit more immediate or acute effects. So we're looking at about 500 milligrams in the morning and 500 milligrams at lunch. And then third on this list of brain health protection or optimization, we have Bromantane. Uh, Bromantane is a compound that many of you know about from my other videos. We're looking at about 25 milligrams in the morning before food. Bromantane through its ability to increase tyrosine hydroxylase expression, this will have an, a positive effect on dopamine signaling and potentially lower prolactin. There was one particular rat study that indicated that bromantane was able to lower prolactin levels. And so this would potentially offset the prolactin raising effects of um, the anabolic steroid uh, DECA. So we're looking at about 25 milligrams of bromantane in the morning. That pretty much wraps up today's video. We just went through a range of ways in which we can protect the body if we decide to use performance enhancing drugs. These are ancillary compounds to actually offset many of the detrimental effects of performance enhancing drugs. Now, obviously this video was entirely for informational purposes only, and the use of some of these PEDs can be extremely dangerous, specifically for overall human health and longevity. However, I'm also gonna be absolutely honest with you in regards to that some of these PEDs can also be used safely under the right conditions. It's just a matter of being smart about the deployment of some of these compounds and being switched on and, and actually understanding um, the correct dosages, cycling protocols, and things like that, and also the synergistic effects. So whilst I'll never support someone like the liver king for using anabolic steroids and being deceitful and, and lying to his audience, the whole purpose of this video was to outline specific compounds that can be used by men and women that decide to use performance enhancing drugs, how they can specifically combine these ancillary compounds to protect their overall health and improve their overall biology. So if you did find this video helpful, please do share the video around. Otherwise, thank you for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.